This is the activity which goes with lesson 24 in your friendly chemistry course. In lesson 22, your students were taught that they could take a known amount of ingredient measured in moles and predict the number of moles of product they could produce from that known amount of ingredient. They were taking moles and predicting moles in lesson 22. In lesson 23, we took it one step further. We took a known amount of moles of ingredients and predicted a product in grams. We took those moles we produced and then converted them into grams using a molar mass or formula weight. Now in lesson 24, your students will be given a known amount of grams of reactant and from that known amount of grams will be asked to predict a known amount of grams of product. So we're starting in grams and we're going to grams of product on this side over here. So for this activity again you'll need a uh, supply of s'mores ingredients and a kitchen scale and then if you uh, choose to allow your students to cook their s'mores Again, you'll need a heat source and fork to uh, toast the marshmallow. So to introduce this activity, first uh, review what your students have done so far, and then tell them that in, in today's lesson, they're going to be given a gram amount of ingredient and be asked to predict a gram amount of product on this side. Now one point that needs to be made very clear to the students is that yes they'll be starting with grams and they'll want to have to be able to predict grams but the mole the ratio here that we've been using all along uh, between a known ingredient and then a known amount of uh, predicted product over here that's a mole ratio that's comparing moles of one component to moles of another component. It's not comparing grams to grams over here. So we can't say, well, if we start with 40 grams of uh, reactant and it's a one-to-one -one ratio, are we going to make 40 grams of product over here? Not necessarily so. So we can only apply the ratio of these components to moles. It's a, called a mole ratio and you can't go directly uh, grams and use that ratio to predict amount of grams over here. Okay, so let's take a look here at at our ingredients again. Let's uh, let's look at these graham crackers to start with right here. Okay, let's say that uh, we've been given 40 grams of graham crackers. Okay, we've been given 40 grams of graham crackers, and we're asked to predict how many grams of s'mores we can make from it. Okay. Now, if you're given 40 grams of these, obviously you need to know, well, before I can apply my mole ratio, I need to convert these 40 grams of graham crackers into moles first. And in order to do that, I've got to know how many grams it takes to make one mole of graham cracker. So, have your students take one mole of graham cracker, which would be one square, and find the mass of it. That would be the formula weight of one mole of graham cracker. And let's just say that's uh, five grams. Okay, so we know that one mole, one mole of graham cracker, okay, weighs five grams. Okay, if we've been given 40, mo 40 grams of graham crackers, if we take the 40, and divide by the five, we'll know that we've been given eight moles of graham crackers. Okay, so 40 moles, 40 grams of graham crackers is equivalent to eight moles of graham crackers. All right, so, so now we have our ingredient here in moles. Since we're in moles, we can apply the mole ratio. All right, so let's go ahead and look at it here. We know the ratio between graham crackers and s'mores is a two to one ratio. Okay, so for every two we put in, we can get one out. So if we put eight in, if we put eight moles into our reaction, 
we know we're going to get four moles of s'mores out of our reaction. Okay, we're just applying the ratio here. It was two to one. If we put in eight, we're going to get out half as half as much many moles out over here because it takes two to make one. Okay, so if we put in the eight moles, now this eight moles, recall, came from back here where we started with grams. We started with 40 grams. We found out that one mole of gram, gram, gram cracker weighed, weighs five grams. We took our 40, we divide it by five. We found out that we actually were starting with what was the equivalent of eight moles of graham crackers. We took the eight moles, we put it into our ratio here. It was a two to one ratio. If we put in eight, we're going to get out four. So now we're at four moles of s'mores. Okay, and this is where you were in lesson twenty, lesson twenty-three. Uh, we're at uh, moles of product, we just need to convert that back to grams of product. Uh, I think in the last lesson we said that one, uh, one mole of s'more weighed 10 grams. If we produced four in this reaction, just be four times the 10. And so, therefore, we'll make 40 grams of s'mores over here. So, this is uh, how you can go about using these s'mores ingredients to illustrate for your students how when you start with grams on the reactant side you have to convert first to moles then once you're in moles then you can apply the mole ratio and get predicting um, amount of moles of product and then from moles of product you can convert back to grams by multiplying by the formula weight of one mole of that particular product.